Hello YouTube. Uh, this is my first YouTube video, so I thought I'd show work in progress, which at the moment is a crashed lander from the battle from a crowd set. I'm still getting the hang of this technical stuff, video cameras and all the rest of it, so bear with me. And a big thank you to Orc Painter Nerd who gave me a bit of encouragement so that I actually put a video on for a change instead of just watching everybody else's. As you can see I've uh, got to the stage now where most of the distressing and rusting is done on the miniature and what I'd like to do now is just share what I've done uh, just so people can give me a few comments. Thanks. So with a bit of uh, inexpert cutting there I've uh, put the paints that I've used, I've used exclusively Vallejo because I prefer those, uh, I don't like the Games Workshop paints at all. Um, first of all, primed it with the surface primer which is excellent through the airbrush and having done that I then painted the any of the fuselage with the model air, burnt umber, rust, a couple of other browns and left that to dry, coated it with satin varnish after it was dried I then used the Vallejo chipping medium which is Andy and coated it as per all paint and nerds instructions sound like a fanboy now don't I right so then once that was done I then airbrushed it with game colour camo green and started chipping which I'm quite pleased with although I think I might have gone a bit too far but Having said that, what the heck, it's supposed to look old, it's supposed to look wrecked. So I'll be putting some close-ups after I've done the talking bit, which I'm not at all comfortable with, but hey-ho, time will tell. As you can see, it does seem to work quite well. So once we got past that stage, I then uh, started on the ground itself, which I washed with um, an oil wash to begin with. Not happy at all using the oil washes, uh, mainly because I got cheap, nasty paints from eBay. So I think some uh, Abtalon MIG products would have been better. But what was really handy, I think I just nearly knocked the camera over there, uh, and I can't recommend them highly enough, would be the uh, Tamiya weathering kits. They are superb. Uh, I know they look a bit like a makeup container, but hey ho, they work. As you can see now, I've got to the stage where what I've got to try and do is do something else with those rocks, which I'm still not happy with. I mean, they've had two blue washes, uh, the original oil wash, and I've dry brushed them with wolf grey, but uh, I still think they need picking out so that they pop a wee bit and I'm a bit worried that the whole thing looks a bit dull but then I keep figuring out well it's supposed to be a wreck that's been there donkey's years so may well work so what I'm going to do now is hopefully figure out how to put some music on a video and give you close-ups of each piece and then in the next video that I do uh, which hopefully will be slightly better than this one I'll um, show you how the work's progressing Alright YouTube, thanks a lot, bye.